Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you quickly how to do some advanced editing. What I'm going to take you through here is how to add a green screen video in and um, overlay it on top of an existing uh, video stream, which is a very cool feature to use. You see some a lot of YouTubers do this and I'll show you quickly how to do that. So um, firstly here, we'll jump straight into it. Um, of just what you do first is you add a video into your stream, into the time timeline here. So you can see that I've got a video here. I'll just play it. Um, it's actually really cool too. I'll do some more videos on this in the future as well. This is what's called a uh, 3D point cloud. It's a 3D model that I put together of a uh, of a statue. Anyway, um, we'll be using this one as an example. So just showing you here, just a regular uh, video file that I've uh, imported into um, Filmforth and what we're going to do is now is add in a video on top of this against a green screen okay so the video that you're going to put in on top of this one um, needs to be filmed against a green screen so I'll do that now by adding in the video itself here and the way we do that is I'll just go back to the timeline here is once we have our video in the stream, we need to click the video of the picture icon here. And you see how the bottom here it says uh, add pick in pick, so picture in picture. And I'll do another video on how to do picture in picture proper as well. But um, select picture in picture and choose add video slash clips. Right. So we've added the video in. So this one here, you can see is filmed against a green screen. So we have two videos in the stream. This one here, the top one, and this one. And what I'll do now before I do the effect is just play this. So you can see now that we have both videos uh, running simultaneously in the frame. So pause that. We've got the one in the background here, and we've got this one that we've added in against the green screen. So I'll emphasize that whatever you're filming and doing this with, it needs to be against the green screen. This one, I've just done up a simple video in Microsoft Paint against a green background and I'll just play that again you can see that it uh, says the word hello and then it uh, just sort of changes a little bit here we just do a few other things so that's the green screen video in picture in picture it has to be in picture in picture for this to work so what we're doing what we'll do now is we'll just wind the video back to the beginning and we'll use the expansion uh, frame uh, indicators here and we'll make this we'll overlay this over the top of the whole video as best we can and you'll see here that I'm trying to fill in the blanks like that so that's the video frame there okay so now obviously if I just play that you can see just here on the end here the video is actually playing in the background and this one's playing over the top so what we want to do because this is against the green screen is we want to use this feature down here called the chroma key See down the bottom here in the uh, in the ribbon called the chroma key and that's the term used to describe green screen you can see it says bracket green screen afterwards so once we've added that our video in like this just go back to the very beginning we'll click the chroma key and it'll bring up this control here and so we need to enable the chroma key effect so we'll turn that on what we need to use is the dropper here and we need to make the green screen transparent basically this is how it works with the green screen so we click this and we can bring this up here you can see the hex value there we click that and you can see how it's disappeared now all right so that's how that works you can actually add additional colors here if you want we won't bother with that um, and you can also modify the tolerance level here as well but we'll leave it we'll run about there so now we'll just uh, click the back button here, go back to our original uh, video timeline, and you can see here now, we'll go back again, see here that we've got the video in here, and our original video here, this one's in the green screen. Just double check that the chroma key, the chroma key is on, and we've made it transparent. And now if we click play, you'll see that the video is running over the top, and the other video is running in the back, and the green screen's gone and we now have the overlay effect of the video from the green screen running there now. 
think. Oh, a little bit of edit there needed to be done. But we'll, we'll roll back and show you again how really cool this feature looks. So you can do, this could be anyone in the video, anyone in the frame, um, whatever video it, this is, it just needs to be done against a green screen. As you can see here, it's a really good effect and um, hope that has helped you out. Uh, we saved that out. I won't bother uh, saving that out now, but um, once we save that video out, um, it'll, it'll have this uh, effect overlay on it. So the green screen is a really cool effect to, to use, um, particularly if you want to have a picture in picture with someone's face talking, you can make the background uh, um, transparent and integrate it with the uh, original video that you're creating. In the next video, we'll be doing picture in picture as well and um, some other advanced features of Filmforth, which I've said before, I highly recommend. It's a very, very good uh, video um, editing uh, tool to use.